What's up everybody, it's me Chris here and what I'm doing for you right now is doing one more Final Cut Pro 10 screencast slash tutorial if you will. So I know you guys are probably sick of these by now but I figured this one might be helpful for you and I know there aren't very many resources to finding a tutorial like this here on YouTube. So let's jump into the screencast and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hope you enjoy. Alright everybody, so as you can see we have Final Cut Pro 10 opened up here right now and this is just what I'm entitling the Blur Tutorial. So um, as you guys can see, this is just a piece of my video that I made yesterday, which is showing you guys how to use a green screen. Of course, check that out if you haven't seen it already. Anyways, um, what you're really going to want to do here is simply uh, to make this blur effect happen, you're going to want to select your clip, copy it, and then uh, you can come out here, paste it again, get rid of this little in-between stuff here and then basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a secondary layer or put this basically right on top of that first clip so it matches matches right up to it we'll just uh, slide this into place get it pretty much aligned so there you go um, and now it is uh, pretty much good to go so Basically what you're going to want to do here is select this top clip and then uh, just go here into effects as you can see I had it open uh, You're going to want to go into blur which is down here and then select Gaussian I want to say I'm not exactly sure how this is pronounced But you're basically going to want to drag this right over onto the top clip now Don't panic. I know it looks right now like uh, the entire thing has gone blurred but basically, what you're going to want to do on the top layer again is simply size it down. So let's just pretend that I don't want somebody to be able to see my dock for some reason. Who knows? Uh, but of course, you can put this over any uh, personal image or personal information, I should say. And all you're going to want to do is simply crop this or trim this uh, layer down to this size. So when you click off of it, you can see that the entire video still plays and just uh, you can't see the dock and of course the blur can be adjusted you just, by just going into uh, the inspector tab and you can see you can change the amount so if you really want to blur it out you can go all the way up to a hundred if you only kinda want to blur it out you know you can find some happy medium for you anyways guys I'm gonna make this uh, video very short so let's just end it here it's very simple how to make these blur effects, but of course, um, if, you're, if you guys are new to the program, it might be a little bit difficult to find out for yourself. So I hope this video helped you out, and of course, like I said, this uh, can be trimmed anywhere you want. So if you wanted to come up here and uh, blur something out up here, it's just, easy to, it's just as easy to do so. So any, anyways, guys, that is it for the video. Again, I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you in the next one. So uh, yeah, take care.